begins at 7.30. Pens and Rangers mixing it up at the Garden. We go third period. Pittsburgh down 4-3. Alex Goligoski with an emphasis on goal. Bad angle shot. Deflects off Mark Stahl and in. Penguins tie the game at four. And overtime sets in. In OT. Pins power play. Evgeny Malkin unleashes a hand cannon that Jordan Stahl reroutes past Lundqvist. Penguins win 5-4. They outshoot the Rangers 55-16 in the victory. Lightning taking on the bulked up Capitals who made all sorts of deadline deals. Second period 2 on Washington. Nick Backstrom shots. Mike Knubel. Dirty goals done dirt cheap as he cleans up the rebound. Knubel second of the game. Third period tied at four. Scott Walker acquired at that trade deadline. Dives, taps in Mike Green's rebound. Just what Washington needs. More scoring. His second of the game. Caps win. Five to four. A playoff like atmosphere is expected to consume the Wells Fargo Center this afternoon as the Flyers look to end a six game losing streak to the Rangers who are playing in this building for the first time this season. The winner of today's game will have the edge in the all time series as both teams have exactly 114 victories in this storied rivalry. And as you can see, the Flyers wearing their winter classic orange for the first time outside of that game. Welcome in to Flyers pregame live presented by Drexel's LeBeau College of Business. I'm John Borg sharing the next half hour talking pucks with Al Morgani. For whatever reason, Al, Flyers admit they have started slow in these afternoon starts, but no reason that should happen today. Oh, absolutely no reason. You saw, you saw the Winter Classic jersey. The Rangers did that up at Madison Square Garden, wore theirs. Here's another reason why you circle the Rangers. Oh. Uh, the Atlantic Division stands the Eastern Conference. Uh, they're at the very top. They've got 71 points, uh, 51 games played. So the Rangers do uh, have a couple of games in hand on the Flyers, which makes this game that much more important because it can be a four-game swing. And that's a, that's a pretty big swing, too, when you've played this many games. They had to have mat matchups that are happening. The, game in, the game's in Hand for well, let's face it, they haven't had a game with this crowd behind them. I mean, this is an intimidating place to play. Say what you want about Citizens Bank Park. It's not going to generate the excitement that the Wells Fargo Center you will. Get, you get one up on these guys now. They, they, they're ready to explode in this game today. You know it's going to be physical. crowd always loves that. They're ready for it. They, they see the Rangers coming in. You've got the whole winter classic background, people that went to that game in the building. So it, it should be right from the get-go, as soon as that puck is dropped, ready to go, ready to roll. All right, with more on today's game, let's go ringside and let's join up with Lisa Hillary. Hello, Lisa. Hi, John. Sergei Bobrovsky will make his second straight start for the Flyers with Phantom call-up Jason Bacacua backing them up. And, of course, for the Rangers, Henrik Lundqvist back between the pipes. And Lundqvist got involved in the Twitter game yesterday saying we're en route to Philadelphia where it is never just like any other game. Jason Bakashua backing up not only Bob, but backing up Lisa Hillary. Right, so I'm right there. Stay right past. So I, I knew the answer when she admitted it. Uh, Sergei Bobrovsky, as you said, will start. Uh, Ilya Brzezgalov feeling a little foolish uh, once again. But remember five days ago, Kimo Timonen was asked point blank, what's been the difference between these two teams? He didn't hesitate. He said goaltending. Look. Neither guy is, 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 is Henrik Lundqvist, but you need a performance that's going to play close to his level. Yeah, and if they had that the last game, I believe they would have won the game. And uh, Bobrovsky's had chance, and again, to you know, show that he's the guy. It, it sounds crazy with the difference in salary or whatever. Well, Ilya Brzezgalov has certainly improved over his past five, six yeah. starts. You see the numbers creeping up. Uh, uh, Bob was the recipient of, obviously, that bad uh, game against the New Jersey Devils. Wasn't all to blame as you look at those numbers. But... You know, it's been a long time since you could actually say this, but the Rangers probably have the edge on the Flyers defensively. And I'm not just talking goaltending, but the guys in front of them, obviously not having Chris Pronger in there, but this is a very good defensive unit for New York. It's very strange when you look at it, too, because, you know, you look at their defensemen and Girardi plays like half the game, like 27, 28 minutes in a game. But the, the difference is... Expect a, a physical game, uh, for oh. sure. We saw that six days ago. Tom Sestito got into three fights alone. Yeah. Uh, so how is this going to play out? Uh, same uh, sort of game? Or is it, you, you have to watch where you really toe the line here. I think it'll be the same sort of game. One thing about the Rangers, their power play, their five-on-four power play doesn't really kill you. I mean, Coming up uh, here on Flyers pregame live... How have the big offseason trades of Mike Richards and Jeff Carter played out so far? We'll answer that and other questions in our Slapshot segment. Plus, 
As we said, Henrik Lundqvist has slammed the door on the Flyers at every turn this season. Like trigonometry, coming up with a solution to the problem can be perplexing, at least when I do trigonometry. We'll try to figure it all out when we return after this. Right now, Tim Pinaccio and John Boric are scoring off about the hottest topics on the ice. Watch Dropping the Gloves, presented by Dodge, only on CSNPhilly.com, the online home of Comcast Sportsnet. Take a look at Danny Breer, his third game back from suffering post-concussion symptoms. He got an assist and that went over Toronto, looking to do some damage as the Rangers and Flyers will hit the ice at 1 o'clock right here at the Wells Fargo Center. Time for our keys to the game, also brought to you by Wells Fargo. Beat the Rangers, not the goalie. Of course, it helps to do a little bit of both. Yeah, a little bit of both, but don't worry so much about it. I mean, he is what he is. Beat him physically. Get him. Be, get behind them. Win the board battles. That's how you're going to beat the Rangers. Don't let them come out from behind their own net with the puck. Get there first and play to the whistle. Against this team especially, you saw what happened the last game in play to the whistle. Knock people down. Make sure they're down, not getting up. You take a look at the uh, Rangers roster and the big free agent signing, obviously, was, was Brad Richards. But they do have a guy the year before that they uh, went out and signed in, Marion Gabrick. He has just four goals since the Winter Classic, but he does have four points in the four wins against the Flyers. Played a really strong game last weekend. Yeah, and that's when I, when I said you have to make sure on a guy like this.